Majestic Morecambe Bay, the largest area of continuous intertidal salt flats and marsh in the country. The largest bay in the northwest of England. 310 square kilometers of constantly changing intertidal sands, mudflats, and muscle-rich oasis like skiers. Fed by the rivers Wire, Loon, Keir, Kent, and Leven. With a tidal range of over 10 meters, one of the largest in the world. Its northern boundary, the towering peaks and fells of the Lake District. One of the most beautiful areas in the whole of England. To the east, the undiscovered peace and tranquility of the Arnside Silverdale area of outstanding natural beauty. And at its southern edge, one of Britain's traditional seaside resorts, Morecambe. Now like a phoenix rising from the ashes, beginning to find fresh life with new generations coming once more to enjoy the most spectacular promenade view in the whole of Britain. And at its western extremities, the once mighty ports of Fleetwood and Barrow. Morecambe Bay, supplier of the nation's energy needs, both now and in the future. Six trillion cubic feet of natural gas beneath its waves. And where once mighty iron and steelworks made good use of the excellent natural resources such as iron ore and limestone to build mighty ships and weapons of war. Morecambe Bay with its proud maritime heritage of ancient ports and slaves and mighty docks and liners. Morecambe Bay, with the country's shortest, widest, deepest and straightest canal. Morecambe Bay, a special site of scientific interest, famous the world over for its seafood, and one of the most important bird and wildlife areas in Britain. The scenic splendor of Morecambe Bay, beautiful. A history stretching back over thousands of years with its ancient churches, monasteries, and stately homes. An ancient pathway for saints, monks, artists, writers, poets, kings, and queens. But to the unwary, one of the most treacherous pieces of our British coastal landscape where the tide comes in like a galloping horse and scene of more than one disaster. So join me as I travel on this historic journey through not only the sands of Morecambe Bay but also the sands of time. The upgraded A590 road brings us to the historic Saxon market town of Ulverston, once known as the capital of the Furness. Travelling by rail from Cark and Cartmel takes us across the Leven Estuary and the beautiful Brunnelys viaduct I mentioned earlier. In fact, Ulverston had two railways at one time, the Ulverstone and Lancaster Railway and, later, the Furness Railway. John Brogdon Sr. and his family, who had mining interests in the Furness area, realised very quickly that the way to move hematite